I believe I can bring you at least one, possibly more, because I'm going to go to where I used to live. Or slip in mud. So. And nothing to live for. And show them what I became. So you're going to go to like Lower Town? Yep. Oddly enough, don't that sound funny? <laughs> That's exactly where I went. That's exactly where he went. So, uh. I don't know if I should join you here. I mean. What do you mean? I, I was seen. Yeah, but you're dressed nicer now. <laughs> okay. That was yeah. a while ago, too. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. was ago. It was months ago, yeah. That's been like, what, three, four months? I don't remember. It's night, too, right? Yeah. And at night. So, yeah, and it's. You're looking at like 11, and Lubbertown's just right there. Yeah. That's that little. That's that yeah. little. You can pass that to West, too. Right there, isn't it? No, it's on the other side. That's yeah, Lubbertown. Like here, isn't it? Yeah, that's Lubbertown. And then you're by the bone yard. So you're like already there. Yeah. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, Jeff and easy. Mm, it's very, very true. Is that racist? I don't know if it is or not. I'm not I, sure. I don't know. When people talk about it, if they talk about it, when they watch this, we'll find out. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's racist. It's easy peasy, Japanesey racist. Go. Not when, well, not when you're six. <laughs> so you're going to Lubbertown. Yeah. Um. White sure was the first part of this. Episode. I don't know. I, it's, it's got a question mark. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm giving you options on what you need to do here. Oh, okay. This is us three, right? Just yeah, it's you three, and you're going to Lubbertown. Are you guys invite me to go? Um, you know. The Rock Gut Ripper has struck here one time, but bam! Yeah. That's the first time you guys had, it, well, they did, seen his body. Like a body that you left by. Why keep smiling? Like you hate this so much. I do. <laughs> you I do hate this so much. <laughs> uh, you do, God, you hate this I'm so going to watch this video, but I'll be the first comment on the video. It's going to be, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I think it's hilarious. So as, we're, as we're walking there, I uh, I start to kind of talk to Ornok and I. So you still see great power? Yes. I don't know what type of decision you two are going to come to. I don't know. I think he's already made up his mind. Yeah, I think he has too. Which? Well, did you write him a note? Okay. Let's roll this. <laughs> Which is what I was meaning towards anyways. What okay. he was going towards, but. I want to make sure we're on the same page. Same page. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you go to Lover Town. Uh, you know, Lover Town is like almost where the land ferry people come from Riddleport where they live. So those people look at Riddleport or sea ferry people. Uh, you two have been here before. This is where mm -hmm. he's from. Mm -hmm. um, which you probably guys do not know that until now. Uh, you walk around and Lee and a very emotionless voice tells you, Warlock, you seek great power still? I do. I'm looking for aliens on his neck and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got lost plug, I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you hear stars. Star. I'd run. Because Rock and Ripper is more like Nemesis yep. than he is Jason. He's a good mix of Jason Borges <laughs> and Nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna uh, get their whatever they're talking about. That's fine. Right. That's fine. I, I love seeing you like this. It's great because you're like, like everything was going so good, and then when they shut you know, like, for me, there's twelve, and you're like, oh. well, the first thing I thought was, oh, he's not gonna love me like a son anymore. The the high father. Well, you never know. Maybe we'll see. Oh, well, I almost rolled for a bluff. Mm -hmm. Whenever I said it's good to see you back, <laughs> you should have. Why the rope? I mean, really but that, I'm not saying that's a lie. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out really if it is or not. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I can see where you might be a little jealous that he's there. So. And we'll come to an agreement. You, you come to an agreement? Okay, so you ask him, you seek your great power? What I've been seeking since I woke up. I say, uh, <clears throat> when we got captured and we fought what we fought, it proved you to me. You call it a fight. Yeah. 
and escaped. Prove to me that uh, Garrett and I are a lot greater uh, than what the city has to offer. And I believe. And then from that point forward, he helped me con conquer my demons. And we're going to conquer the next set of demons. If you guys want power, let's take the hot father out. You guys can run this cool a lot better than he can. We're brothers. We've been through a lot. He just treats you like a piece of paper. Pets. And I'll let you guys roll. <clears throat> I don't know you. Oh. Keep going. Do so you seek power? You want to be like Saul? He's got to go. He showed me a lot. Helped me conquer my demons. Get these voices out of my head. There's only one place to go from here. It's the top. And he's done nothing but doodle his army down and then tell you he can bring others in and take months and Saul can do it today. Paul. <laughs> no pause. What do you have to say? I thought it was correct. We do have more connections in other towns. I know where they're at. Oh, shit. That's coming from me, not or not. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, I really I've gathered that. I said, the high five is right. We do have more connections, and yeah. I know where they're at. And there used to be a grandfather. That place is vacant. That is why the high father is acting the way he is with the coughing. He's dying, or what's going on with him? Power could be stepping from him. He's looking for a person to take his spot. So there'll be two places. I'm not saying what I've talked with the High Father about. No. Do you play you here? Because this is, it's hard, this it's, is tricky ground. It's hard to do that because... Because I know you seek great power. I do. Mm-hmm. I do seek great power. I see great power on my own mission, and I see great power within this town. Remember what I told you all back? What's that? You want great power, I'm going to help you achieve it. This is me helping. I that lead is not gone. Do what? That lead's not gone. The voices are. Well, I'm glad to hear that the voices are gone. You the worry. It's so hard to do it. The voices and the... Uh, hallucinations. Yeah. You, you you worried me with that. Sometimes but, you gotta hit rock bottom to get back up. Lee, I'm not sure. I I I don't feel like that's the best way to do it. I think if we can bring an army in and we can unite with Saul, <clears throat> we're gonna we'll we'll take this town by force and we'll we'll run the streets we need leaders that can show their faith day or night Saul's a perfect example hide in plain sight is a lot better than hide at night the, the I look at you I what what, what do you think about this I'm not talking about getting rid of the cult. No. Just get rid of the weak link. Yeah, my father. I know, but then you, you two guys, you don't understand. Step in the footsteps. I, 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 I know what you're doing. You got a game plan. Now, this time where you walk around Livertown, like you have cloaks and stuff on. I have, or you just like stopped outside. Of I would the almost town. say we probably stopped somewhere since this got me. Okay. Yeah, we were not wearing yeah. our clothes on. I have, <laughs> my, sure. I have my fancy ass cloak on. Whoa. Actually, you made it up with your cloak on. Huh? <clears throat> with, with your cloak on. Oh, yeah, but it's off now. Okay, so you've taken yours off. Okay. So what I'm kind of gathering, what are you doing? Are you I, standing around? Are you walking? Are you still wearing your cloaks? I'd say I have a different cloak on, a traveling cloak. Well, you don't have, yeah, you took your hood off. Yeah. yeah. You noticed that the one that he had on was... Not like yours at all. Who, him? Yeah. What was it like? It was, it's a little bit tattered. Okay. It might have been 
homemade a little bit. <laughs> homemade a little bit. Yeah, I got my venturing cloak on with the hood pulled over right now. So, you're very, very torn right now, are you? Uh, I'm really trying to think about how my character would handle this with what me and the High Father just talked about. And I told you I'd help you find out who you truly are. Mm -hmm. So is the High Father. Just think of the others that you're bringing in. You know, not just us. You're bringing in, what's her name, Bruce? What was her name? Bruce 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 you didn't know that. You didn't know that, though. Oh, I didn't know that, did I? Nope. Mm -mm, neither Never mind. Well, let's talk about uh, Joe's character. Uh, Durza. 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 Yeah. I said, Durza and his brothers. I said, if you run it, if y'all run it, y'all can, can run it a little bit different. You don't have to hide in the shadows. My plan didn't have us hiding in the shadows. That's what I'm saying. They, my, my plan. I think you should have a plan sight. My plan had us patrolling the streets. Yeah. Which the High Father was okay with. Yeah. He was he? And my, oh, well, my last sentence. My, my last meeting. My last thing might be the most powerful thing I tell you. Okay. Actually, I don't think while going to meet him, he brought anything up about patrolling the streets with him. The first time. Yeah, the first time. That's just last No, time. no, yeah, but the first time. And whenever. I mean, he, he told me I had a plan and I was the one to enact it. I'd assume that he thought it was a good idea. He never said yay. He just said if you're going to spearhead this this movement on the city. He never really gave you details on what he was going to want to do. That's true. I you just thought. Power. Power. I believe the high power has got a hidden agenda of this. What do you think that is? I'm, are they talking in unison, like in the same pitch and all that? Like, mm. Actually, if you if you're gonna ask that, it's actually very important. And I was I wasn't gonna say anything, but like I said, like he is very calm and like almost emotionless. Like he's the he's the more harder of the two. Okay. Like almost a bit more aggressive about things. Okay. So yeah, a little bit of a change. Yeah. I think both I got a little bit of a change to him. So this power you seek, that I know is true, I've seen it. I say, I believe that High Father is scared of you. So he's going to aid himself when his first agenda is to get rid of you. Oh, you think he wants to kill me? Maybe not now, since he knows you're powerful. Before he knew that, he was nobody. From what I know. Yeah, I was about to say, I like how he's like, yeah. I know these things. From what I know, I just know you're in the cult. And he's and like, think, the other day, in our last meeting, I brought up that I believe you to be our most potent weapon against the eye. You just take time to gather your strength. Yeah, I caught me at the crossroads, crossroads. Hmm. <laughs> Decisions. I'm very torn in this. Because either way, either way, we could, it, it, I, I could potentially step up from what the High Father tells me. He seen Garrett as a follower, and he knows that I have. I was enacting the plans. He sees you as the leader. Yeah. And you have not told Garrett this at all. No. That the High Father seen him as a weak link. No. And here, he, there, he's trying to persuade you that the High Father is the weak link. Mm -hmm. Garrett has told you that he believes he is dying. He has told you that his power is failing him. That one day this could all be yours. Well, the, the, yeah, the, the High Father was kind of telling me the same thing. That when it's time to... He didn't come out and say that his power is failing him, but he did say that at, in the future there's going to have to be a change of power. No, he didn't say it. He told you that. 
He said it a while ago. No, I thought the High Father was telling me. No, that. he just told you a while ago that the High Father's power is still in him. Yeah. Well, why did the High Father tell me? Whenever he told you that his, he thinks his time's growing short. Yeah. And that someone would need to take his spot, and he was wrong about Garrett. I'll also tell you that he's been running the coat for 80 years. Chunk of time. What is he? I do not know. He's our high father. That I know. You you spoke to him like a son, and now you're plotting his death. Well, you know. Sometimes the revelations are made. Come on, how many times have you seen sons kill their fathers and take their, their seat of power? <sighs> oh, old man wow. gets weak, kill him, he take his throne. You do an evil man, you got game plan, you worked out. <laughs> yeah. Or how the Sith work out? Don't, oh, yeah. There you go. That's your prime example. I know. And there can only be two, two. at one time. And here we are, we have. A grandfather who's vacant and five high fathers. Man, you're really pondering this, are you? I'm really trying to figure out. There's so many plans that have already been enacted, and there's no proof to their claims to what they think. Okay, where's your proof of the claims of anybody else's, though, either? Have you seen Saul's army? No. Have you seen the High Father's army? Uh, I just know the people that's at worship. Mm hmm. And as far as I can tell, we're down below 20 now, probably. I mean, what proof? I mean, what proof did Saul give you that he was gonna go find her? He didn't, but I trust him. That's right. He's never gave me a reason not to. Dude, that's true. And yet, have we? That's, that's I know. Very, very, that's very the true. I'm struggling with this so much because I'm trying very hard to. I know what I do. I know what I want to do. And it's, I really want to stick to the plan that I have in motion already. Well, that's your call, buddy. I mean, you've got a lot of options to weigh right now. I know. I mean, maybe you just need to look at what definitely has been written in stone to you. I mean, because look, look, I mean, you think about it, and, and, it, and it makes sense that you're torn because here the High Father has dangled power from you. Saul has dangled power from you. And they just like, let's kill the High Father, dangling power in front of you. And actually, that power you would know you'd get quicker too. So, Ornok has come across. To a crossroads. Man, I, I just... The, the thing that keeps coming through my head is if I turn on the High Father, I feel like I'm going to turn on Saul also. Because we've already made an agreement. Okay. Well, what if you turn on your friends? It's not who you were looking for at that. I know, but me disagreeing with their plan is not turning on them, though. No, it's not turning on them, but you, I mean, there is something there that would have to be done. Just think about it. I mean, you're seeing things one way, and they're seeing things another way. Oh, the note passing. You don't want to get... 
You don't think you're good when there's a bunch of dope passing. <laughs> yeah. So you're sitting there and you're pondering it. And uh something catches your eye. There's like a flash of red. You look up and his eyes glow crimson red in the darkness. That's new. I'll smile. He's got a set of fangs in his mouth. I have found power myself. What kind of power, brother? You've only seen you've only seen a set like that once in your entire life. I don't know if I've seen it. I didn't. You, yes, you, you have. Yeah, you seen it. You were with her. Was I? No, you were with her. You know, no, was I was I was with her. No. So no, no, this no, is completely no. something brand new to you. But he would probably. But think. you have studied I enough. Have. I have to know to know what has happened to this man. His his features are hard now. How have you let's just say done this? I've had a run in with I'm nervous. You should be. I mean, Ornok is Yes, I, I, you should be. And I'm, you should be in general. I'm very apprehensive right now. Like, I'm, I'm now uncomfortable with the situation Ornok is. But it's the dead, and you have a fascination with the dead. I know, but I also know that they can be very ruthless. And if he... I know. about him? I know. Well, you, 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 what are you wearing? Do you have a cloak pulled up over your head? Not now. You don't see it in him? Let's just say it was a very influential figure. Oh, wait. An awakening is what he had. Yeah, an awakening. If you will. <laughs> the look on your face is so priceless. Let's just say that maybe my true potential has been awakened. I don't think I've ever made a character to this much in game. It's kind of fun. Well, what's really fun is that I've completely put you down to him from the High Father has completely run you into the ground and promised your spot to him and now, well, here you are. A changed person. Mm -hmm. What led to your awakening? From, from the time I last seen you until now, you have told me a story about being caught and escaped. There is definitely some things that were left out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What... What are those things? You trust me? Mm-hmm. Now, how much of this will be the truth? Do you trust him? Uh, yeah, yes, I trust him. And that's not a lie. What do you think? Do you trust him? I trust both of you. And I, I trust you. about to have an intense role play. Oh, God, I'm taking my pants off. <laughs> wow. Bring out the baby oil on the tarp. You saw all last week. Uh, yeah, I mm -hmm. opened it up. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get here in time, did you? Yeah, I know, bro. Cut me out of that deal. Well, he says he trusts you. Do you really trust him, though? He has not given me a reason not to. He's never given you And whenever, I mean, the best. But you do know that he's just recently lied. I know. To a group of people, not just to you. But it's a group of people that he is now talking about killing the spearhead of. So, I mean, I, I understand the need for that, because I, I mean, if you look at it that way, I lied to Saul, but it wasn't, I wasn't trying to lie to him, I was trying to keep things. How did you lie to the hot father to get things right? Uh, none. That I've, that I've but, successfully but how done. You, yeah, how much <laughs> you kept from him? So, omitted. Oh, <laughs> 
Now, 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 what do you think about it? How, how much of this game in the beginning was built on secrets? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's and the, now look at it. That's and it, here it's all, everything's been in the open, and now it's all starting again. Well, that's what I, that's the reason I said, yeah, I trust you, because I understand the situation that you're in sometimes. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> trying to open it up correctly. <laughs> We're in way deeper. And way more powerful. We can never imagine. We didn't get away from that thing without help. Who helped you? As a story, I will let Garrett to start. Actually, no, you can't because your stories are different. No, well, they're different. Oh, yeah, I forgot they're different. They're really okay. different. Let's just say the assassin's employer helped us out. The assassin's employer, oh, employer. Who would have? Who would have attempted to assassinate you, and then help you? No time. We're getting further. Put on that. You don't know. You can You need Doctor Flex. This is his side. Your, your, the, the, uh, the assassin's employer was. Think about it. Who were we chasing down? Well, the only people that I would recognize as somebody that would be out to kill you would be either the assassins, the group of thieves that we, or the uh, Eye of the Arcane. Remember when I told you about Soji and Corvosa? Yes. West letter or us? The West letter. Yeah. Oh, my letter. My letter. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> You, uh, well, her daddy didn't get kind of like that very much. But more so over, he is ready to take the High Father. Here, this might help you with your decision. Oh God! Oh, maybe not. <laughs> that might help. Might help spur you on some. <laughs> Says, "What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> brother, <laughs> power lines right here, brother. Eat your body and say prayers. Don't do it." And I will say he is responsible for my transformation. As the Ripper is for mine. Oh, there's another twist. Damn. We got two other people involved. You met the Ripper? Oh, yeah, I knew, yeah, I knew you did. Yeah, you knew you met the Ripper. Yeah. What to do? What to do? The scale's tipping more in the favor of him because he's uh, undead now. And I believe him to be more resourceful than the High Father. Because the Eye of Arcane has been around us almost as long. Do some hand gestures. Do you not. Do some hand gestures for Kyle. Do you not worry that when the time comes, the High Father said that he will crush? Your new friend, your new friends. I am more worried about failing my new lord. My father? The guys we're playing with. <laughs> Is that what you're doing over there? Yeah. How much would I know about this? About what? About van vampirism. I know, like, because I said every time I... You got knowledge? What, what you no, know, I just... Well, well, nothing. I don't have any knowledge. Just roll, just roll me common knowledge. Just roll me in a... Because I, I mean, I, I said that I've been studying this Yeah, yeah, you've been doing it. Based it on what your intelligence is. Yeah, it's a zero. Oh, no, I mean, no, <laughs> just roll. Uh, I roll a nine. A nine. Uh, vampires, you know they can't walk around and suddenly lie. Um... 
they're they drink blood. Do, they, do I know that they have a spawn that they can control? I'm not I think a that. person. You yeah, I would say that you know they can make other vampires. But I don't know about oh, well, you have it. You have oh, I'm trying trying to figure out what would be the most useful information to you. I would say yeah, you probably pretty much would know everything about because. Uh, I don't remember who you met with, but you were, they were, I remember you guys talking about like more powerful than it. It was actually when you met a uh, Brawl. Yeah, Brawl. Because you guys had encountered the zombies in Ravenmore. Mm -hmm. He explained to you like liches and mummies and vampires. So, so yeah, you would know all vampires could do all these such things. And I told you he was responsible for my transformation. Mm -hmm. Um, how do I know you're not just a pawn of him now? I'm not a vampire. Good answer. You could be a pawn of him. They gave me a choice. He's you know, pawns are very weaker compared to real vampires, though, too. I don't know the extent of his power. That's very true. But I'm just saying, you do know that spawns are generally weaker than real vampires. So we expect them for bite marks. Mm. We're not, this is just the beginning. They said they can give us great power. I was told. Tonight, I would be given great power. We don't give things in this world, we take it. Bada boom, right there. Of course, baby. Baby. That's why these voices are not in my head. Isn't that what you're going to do? Just take That's why the Ripper is, let me free. I'm going to take things now. See, he starts to get a little angry when he says that. He's very intense. And my Lord is uh, very strong in being. As is his lady in green. Mm. He was more afraid of him than anything else I've ever seen. And or something you don't know. Does your lord I thought of like yeah, that you don't know about him. Know of me? We're gonna say that you've met you've met this guy, but it's just something that we'll have to work on here later. I did not tell him anything. What? I asked I said, Does your lord know of me? The lady of green does. So I would assume yes. I'm letting them. I'm playing this all by ear with them because the, I've given them information, and what they say is what they say. The lady, the lady in green, knows of me. She has powerful influence. She is like the second hand of the Lord. Do I know the lady in, in green? I've never seen her before. No. Hey, yeah, she was there. Oh, other than yeah, that's hell. Yeah, that yeah. I see what you're saying. You've never seen her before until then. Yeah. She knows that you seek power. She'll help you achieve it. She's going to help me achieve mine. She's already started with him. Man, the Actually, transformation has no straight up. Well, Sam, yeah, my yeah. Lord's already granted him some power, if you cannot tell. And he even teased about uh, helping lead the divine over at the eye. I know nothing of that power. No. Yeah, you do. You know that's what he does. Oh, well, I mean, I, I don't. Yeah. You know, that's I, what I, your cult's based on. Yeah. yeah. I know I'm probably an oddball. You're the oddity, yeah. yeah. With the arcane. Yeah. That's why he sees creep out. Kind of throw that one back out there at you. And that's all the eye does is arcane. They probably have more resources to help you out. Than the High Father of Roth. Boom, there's a bombshell. Yeah, you know the High Father's name. Roth. Not David Lee. I'm getting confused. You want to breath off. You've been contemplating this for like 45 minutes now. No, no, we've been role playing and I've been. I know, that's what I'm saying. Next part. <clears throat> I got, I'm sorry, too. I said, uh, if you want to impress Thaw, you didn't show him the High Father. You could show him somebody tenfold. Just tell him he had to take out the trash. It's not the fact that I want to impress the High Father. I mean, uh, impress Saul. Well, I'm just saying, he'll will, he will be, we can't tell him, but once he finds out, he'll be down with this. Why well, just crush this place? We crush half the world, what they have to offer. 
Was it Saul I was talking to whenever he said watch out for them? I don't know. When I, was, did I talk to Saul? Was it him that told me watch out for the Eye of the Arcane? He said they're very dangerous. Well, I wasn't there. Oh, no. Well, no, I mean, help, help me remember that. No, um... Who was it? Somebody... It was, it was uh... No, Pearson. Who <laughs> talked to Pearson? Look on the back. Close he back told you whatever you were getting yourself into, you were best leaving it all alone. There? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you see where that one's got you. Okay. Strange home. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. So, what is your decision? When do I get to meet with your new lord? I don't know. Is he, are you all in? Hold on a second. The, just in case. The lady told me... I didn't write anything, but just in case. The, oh, very, yeah. the very end of our discussion earlier, the lady told me to bring her something, but this is saying to bring the whole something. Try not to give anything away. But I think it was a figure of speech when I'm up to you. I don't want to look that way because I've seen the note. I don't want to say anything. I, don't, I shouldn't mm -hmm. see it. You shouldn't. A lot of behind the game scene stuff was talked about and done before I'm you thinking about this figure of speech is what they really meant. So, you have a decision to make. I don't think she would ever admit that now since you told me that. Yeah. I've been nothing but truthful with you. All of our secrets are out in the open. It's actually really true. You, I mean, you guys have been more actually more honest with him than I expected. Well, well I think the way we went about it is kind of layer after layer after layer. You've layered layer it all, but here's the thing. I was layering it on before yeah. I knew you guys were going to start this, so... I'll ask you again. When, when can I meet with your new lord? Does it say, does this mean you're agreeing? Are you agreeing to this? Can I... Can I just meet? Mm-mm. You have to be all in, buddy. Oh, God. So, what lies in my future, power-wise, say if I go with you right now? Am I like you? Do you want to be like me? There's something else I want to do. Well, I'm sure we can arrange that. I want... I'm sure my lord will... Uh, I want all the time in the world to be dedicated yeah. to finding everybody I need to find. I'm sure something like that can be arranged. I told you I'd help you from day one. Let's go. Look behind you. Behind you sends a very well-dressed elf, short-cut brown hair. <laughs> His eyes glow no. like Garrett's. And he takes a bow. He tells you Greetings, Ordok Tornar. I am Varlas Selfanine. Okay. And he takes a bow. To make sure when the dude died. As soon as he says that, I go to one of how I'll switch out. You know how it'll. This has been it for session 15 and with the <laughs> shadows. Uh, watch the rest of these on YouTube. Rewatch this a dozen times to see how he reacts to all this. <laughs> Catch you next session. I'm gonna rewatch this a dozen times. Oh my god. <laughs>